At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground. He sleeps and rises night and day, and the seed sprouts and grows. He knows not how. The earth produces by itself, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. But when the grain is ripe at once, he puts in a sickle, because the harvest has come. And he said, With what can we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable shall we use for it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which, when sown on the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet, when it is sown, it grows up and becomes larger than all the garden plants and puts out large branches, so that the birds of the air can make nest in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them, as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them without a parable, but privately to his own disciples, he explained everything. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, Today we have two parables told by Mark in today's Gospel. And both are images of the Kingdom of God, of God's truth and love spreading among people all over the world. Both are taken from the world of agriculture, a world that would have been very familiar to Jesus' listeners. That is, the story of the seed that grows by itself and the story of the small mustard seed which grows into the biggest shrub. First, the story of the seed which grows alone. The farmer who plants the seed knows the process. To ensure a good harvest, he has to plant good seed at the right time, keep the field free from competing weeds and harmful insects. As much as they try to control these factors, Farmers are ultimately dependent upon God for more fundamental things. The land, the good soil, the rain and sufficient light. The farmer knows how to wait. He does not cut down the grain before it is time. But he does not know how the soil the rain, the sun and the seed have this force or strength to make the plant grow from nothing until it bears fruit. This is how the kingdom of God is. It is a process. There are stages and moments of growth. It takes place in time. It produces fruit at just the right moment. But nobody knows how to explain its mysterious force. Nobody, not even the landlord, only God. Once the seed is sown, God cares for the growth. Secondly, the story of the small mustard seed, which grows and becomes big. The mustard seed is small, but it grows, and at the end, the birds make their nest in its branches. This is how the kingdom of God is. It begins very small. It grows, and it extends its branches. 
the entire life of jesus was planned and lived only to establish god's kingdom on this earth whatever may be the cost he sent out his chosen ones to spread the same kingdom the disciples preached and the missionaries shed their lives for the kingdom of god it is grown with so many branches and keeps on growing and will continue to grow my dear friends both of these parables are words of encouragement to a struggling church living in small scattered communities and surrounded by hostile elements ready to destroy it how amazed would the christians of those days if they could see how the seed has grown and spread to different parts of the world of whose very existence they were totally unaware today we still need to have their trust and confidence in the power of the kingdom to survive and to spread if we allow god to work in us we will grow even though we may not be aware of it at the time the seeds in these parables are meant to show that great things come from small beginnings let us pray lord jesus we pray for all the missionaries who work in different parts of the world to establish God's kingdom. Help all of us to realize that it is the duty of every baptized Christian to work for this kingdom wherever we are. Give us the courage and strength to overcome all the obstacles that may come and establish the kingdom of love and happiness amen